Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome to our next brand new playthrough, something very different to Dave the Diver. This is The Thaumaturge. This is a isometric, story-heavy RPG game, similar, like a jankier version of Disco Elysium, sort of, different kind of vibe, um, but similar in some ways in terms of how it plays, apparently. A Thaumaturge is... A wonder maker, a wonder worker, a priest who can perform miracles or a magician who can, you know, deal with the supernatural and stuff like that. Someone who can use their powers for things beyond the mundane and terrestrial. So really interested in that. Um, it's apparently very choice driven. The choices we make are going to affect the story. Lots of good voice acting and stuff like that. Just came out yesterday. Excited to give it a go. It's available on Steam. Let's check it out. Locals say the station is haunted at night. I'm not allowed to read the rest. <laughs> Thaumaturge is a word deriving from Greek. It means miracles. There you go. A Thaumaturge or a Tempermancer. And I did Google how you pronounce Thauma, by the way, because my initial um, instinct was Thauma. Tempermancer. One able to discover secrets lingering in persons or places. They recognize flaws or stigmas imprinted on the human psyche and can bring them to the surface. Are they a doctor of souls? Impossible to fully name the essence of a Thaumaturge without being born one. Lucky for us, I suspect we were. For years I've been seeing you in my dreams, and lately more and more. I know it's you, but I can no longer recognize your face. I don't know if I'd recognize you if I saw you. I hope your condition hasn't worsened much since you last wrote. I can hardly imagine what a nightmare you're going through. Remember, you're not alone. I'm sure our father would be happy to help, if only you asked him. I assure you that for now, I haven't said a word to him about your search or your health, just as you requested. He doesn't know your intention, and with God as my witness, he'll not find out from me. I know, you think the only thing that can help you is a miracle. But such itinerant miracle workers, preachers, and folk mystics often take advantage of those in grave condition who are desperate or seeking help. I hope the man you're pursuing can actually ease your mind. But if not, remember that in the end, we will find a way to help you. Just because we can't see it now, does not mean it doesn't exist. Send word as soon as you get there. I want to know you are safe. With as much love as I have, Ligia. Could you spare a moment for me? I'd like to send a telegram. Of course. Pardon me, sir, but are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. You're not looking your best. Thank you. What's your message? All right, first place trick on him. Why would I? <laughs> I do look rough, don't I? 
Maybe it's something to do with my <laughs> my skeleton friend who's been following me around. Take this down, please. Arrived. I think I have found him. I hope he will receive me. I will write as soon as I am able. And payment? On receipt. Anything to add at the end? Send greetings to your sister. Please add my love to you, my sister. Touching. Thank you. From whom? My name is Viktor Shulski. S-Z-U-L-S-K-I. And Viktor with a W, not a V. Interesting name. Where's this headed? Warsaw. Russia. And this is supposedly Georgia. Russia here and Russia there. Russia everywhere. On every map. Tell me about it. Maps change. I know, I know. Let's get on with it. <laughs> Pardon? I was talking to myself. Which way to the village? The coachman is picking up the mail. Maybe he'll give you a ride. Thank you. I sk Looney. <laughs> Skelly Bro looks intimidating, but he, he... I don't know, I get the feeling he's, he just seems like a nice guy for some reason. He seems like a pal. Lost letter. Dear Anthony. There's going to be a lot of talking in this, isn't there? <clears throat> it feels like ages have passed since your last letter. Or maybe it's just the winter that makes everything good and warm seem distant. As you can guess, the life of an exile does not spoil me. Years ago, I was uprooted from my homeland and sent to a foreign land, among foreign people to fight under the Russian banner. And how am I today? I live among people who hate me. I'm losing my health and my mind and cultivating the land that I fertilized with the blood and flesh of its sons. And I can't leave here. I can't stop reminiscing. Death seems to be my only means of escape. Please pray for me. Constanti. Constanti. P.S. I don't think this letter will make it through the censorship. If it does, please tell Anielka that the thought of her brought me solace until the very end. Wonder if they'll see each other. I wonder that too. Dear Janko, please stop with your gentry snobbery and listen to what I tell you. Times are a-changing. Always had an ah. You can no longer rely solely on property ownership. The peasants are different now and it's not at all clear how things will turn out in the coming years. You just have to look. Wherever you turn, you hear about revolts and peasant guerrillas going at the Lord of Pitchforks. We have to protect ourselves, have something on the side, some business that allows us to live with dignity. That's why I'm telling you for the last time. Go to the bank in Tiflis and take a loan against half our assets in the Koskos. Koskos. Invest in the oil business in Baku. The railroad is already getting there and the world needs kerosene. You need to act. I'll send you all the documents and authorizations. Don't delay any longer. Greetings, Lou. I've got experience for that though. That makes me happy. Perception. As a thaumaturge, you possess exceptional perception. You can see things hidden from sight. You can anticipate the enemy's actions. You can follow traces of emotions, thoughts, actions, and words, and reach your goal easier. Hello. Blessed be our Lord. Indeed. Warm coat. Indeed. <laughs> a totally normal response to that. <laughs> Matches and walks up. Blessed be our Lord. Warm coat. Yes. Oh, hello. The Tiflis Herald. So, I guess we're in Tiflis. The tragic events of August 29th have cast a shadow on the city of Tiflis, leaving it in deep mourning. Yesterday's rally, where reform proposals sent out by Minister Alexander Bulgin were to be discussed, was brutally interrupted by Cossack troops that stormed inside the municipal board building. Armed Cossacks entered the conference room, wreaking havoc. In the turmoil, 60 people were killed and over 100 were injured. People were shocked at another instance of unjustified aggression against the nation of Georgia. Many believe more mass strikes are inevitable. Oh, he, like, he clicks his fingers. Let's have a little poke around. I don't anything else. So I'm guessing we're looking... Wait, so are we not a Thaumaturge? Because I feel like we're looking for a Thaumaturge. To rid us off this spectre that's haunting us. Hmm. Hello. Are you going to the village by any chance? Hello there. Where else? There's nowhere to go here, sir. The station, the village, and the cemetery. That's all. A horse can't go any higher. The village is what interests me. Well, 
If you've got reason to be there, climb in. I'm not sure I'd be... <laughs> I'd be taking this guy. <laughs> this guy comes up to me. I don't think I'm taking him anywhere. Jesus. Looks like Rasputin. So is it just locals living in the village? Who else would want to live in a shithole like this? I actually meant... Is there anyone visiting? A guest? Ah, you came for some healing. Well, he's no guest here. He's been here months, my friend. The people are tormented, so he sure got folks to heal. Where might I find him? I bet he's still in the tavern. He prays this time of day. Oh, he prays a heck of a lot. You getting in, or what? Just like me, he prays in the pub. I'd be grateful. Always nice to have someone to shoot the breeze with. Taco! Prologue. Hoping for the better. Nothing to see around here. <sighs> this is everything. Hard to get lost in this place. Head to the tavern over there, past the little square, up the steps. They'll tell you where the preacher's at. Or this time of day, he'll be there himself. Thank you. Find the miracle worker in the tavern. Nice boots, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if he's talking. she's talking to me. She didn't even look at me. <clears throat> she's looking at the wall. I like to think she's everything will freeze and there won't be anything left. I like to think she wasn't even talking to anyone. She was just talking to herself. She's looking at the wall going, yeah, nice boots. <laughs> like she sees them in her mind's eye. His, however, are covered in shit. Proletariat's Bridzola. Soon the day will come when the people will throw off their hated shackles. With one stroke of the mighty arm hardened by work and struggled with misery, they will get rid of the despised Tsar. May the recent events, so agonizing for many, be a torch that will kindle the flame of a just revolution. It will only take a few people to raise their heads proudly and abandon their work for the flame to become an inferno that will consume the oppressor and cleanse our lands. It's already happening. Workers in major cities are preparing for action, and the country folk are also joining the fray. The hour of trial is upon us. Let us not lose heart. Goes well with the tune of La Marseille. So, we're in Georgia, and I'm assuming that... The people of Georgia are currently being subjected by the Russians, and the Russians are, and therefore... You guys already got what's yours this week. It's Russian. Molchev, we're here to keep order and that don't come free. It's getting colder, so the price is getting higher. Hey, T. Nice boots. Very warm. Everyone likes my boots. A proud answer. Not only draws from your floor price level, feeds it more. Okay, well, I don't know what that means. Let's click it. Actually, I have particularly warm boots. Thanks. <laughs> and sooner or later, these might kick their arses. Don't tempt me, Luca. Don't tempt me. Give me a sec. I've got to sort out formalities with this tourist. It's your Znami. We are the Tsar's soldiers. Those don't look like soldiers' faces. Closer to thieves. I don't think he'll talk to us voluntarily. I'll kick you with my f warm boots. When your enemies lose all their health... So, okay, so we've got... Let's talk about the pride thing. We've got... Pride is one of our flaws. Much like myself. And um, by choosing a prideful answer, we have fed into that. So our pride grows even further, I suppose. When your enemies lose all their health, you win the fight. The enemy's health points are shown on bars below their feet, while your health points are represented by a bar on the bottom left. This dude's got a knife on the right, so I think I should... Oh, but that's going to kill him. Oh. Hit me for one damage, you cheeky little player. And I got stabbed. <laughs> Perception allows you to anticipate the enemy's actions. To find out what they're planning, go and fold the actions cube at the top of the screen. Each skill has its own speed. Slower skills are more powerful, require preparation, bringing the risk of the enemy's attack first, which is what just happened. Seven. 
Punch him in the face. I was going to get a hit no matter what I did. This guarantees the kill. Well, kill in bird commas. Serves the Ruskis right. They won't report us. They'll be too embarrassed to admit some cripple got the better of them. Cripple? What? <laughs> I think I'm... What? Am I? <clears throat> I can pet it. Good boy. Good boy. Uh, I got a point. Can I do anything with my point? On the Grimoire's cover, there are available a Thaumaturgy points that you can spend on the tree, purchase skill upgrades, improve your powers within any dimension, and hunt Salutas to enable further development. Oh, Nelly. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> this upgrade enables using Perception in the Dimension Heart. Okay, this is too, this. I don't want to summon any of this means. <laughs> Should I? <laughs> dimension Force Heart is one enhanced by Flaw's Pride. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh no, I'm going to lose my bond with my Upia. Many people have flaws, but only thaumaturgists are aware of their existence. These are blemishes on a personality created by a result of turbulent experiences. They attract salutors and allow young thaumaturgists to make a pact with their first salutor. Your flaw is pride. If you nurture it by making the right choices, it will impact the course of events in the future. My innate flaw got me in trouble on more than one occasion. It also kept me out of it sometimes too. It's an integral part of me. Okay. There he is. So he can also do damage. It's like a personification of my flaw is going to help me in combat. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I've got a gun. Why, do I, why didn't I shoot the Russians? <laughs> Okay, I can develop this. A 60% chance of dealing double damage. Sure, why not? Each skill can be upgraded. Place upgrade in the designated spot on the skill icon. Each upgrade takes up space. Choose wisely. Oh, right. Interesting. Um, so I can put it on one of the attacks, but not both. Um, logically, which would you put it on? Quick? I think so. <clears throat> News from Yerevan. Our correspondents report that the newly appointed Governor General of the Yerevan province, Prince Napoleon Louis Joseph Jerome Bonaparte, Napoleon Bonaparte, has just arrived in town. The highest officials were present at the welcoming ceremony, followed by a dinner with representatives from Yerevan's most eminent hiccups. The Governor General's address to the townspeople expected in the next few days. Why do I just constantly have hiccups? Only when I record, by the way. You know what? I say it like that's not on purpose, but it probably is a thing in that because I'm talking so much and there's so much like airflow going on, it kind of prompts hiccups, you know. I'm going to talk to other YouTubers to see if it's a thing. Forgive me, sir. Is your name Grigory Efimovich Rasputin? Oh, she is Rasputin. I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's just I've been looking for you for a very long time, and... And you expected a thinking simpleton. An illiterate who swindles sick people and claims he can speak to God himself. I already said I forgive you. Yes, I've heard. Especially in Petersburg. I've also heard about the healings. Even hopeless cases. Inexplicable ones. And what do you believe? If you help me, I'll believe all of it. And please believe me when I say I've tried everything short of a miracle. And I know the meaning of that word. I'm a thaumaturge. Oh, I am. Okay. Where are you coming from? 
I first learned of you in Paris. A charismatic miracle worker from Russia. I even heard about you from my doctors. By the time I got to Petersburg, you were already gone. I've crossed almost three continents, through Siberia, India, and half of Europe. But if you're asking me about my origins, I'm from Poland. From which Poland? The Russian one, the German one, or the part that belongs to Austria? From Warsaw. Do you have a name? Viktor Shulski. On my path, I've already come across people who have lied to me about their problems, and then gone around calling me a charlatan. After them, others arrived, with pitchforks and torches, and I had to endure insults and spit in my face, or flee for my life. And now you say you're a wizard from an imaginary country that no one has seen on a map in over a hundred years. Forgive my amusement, I haven't had my first coffee yet. I forgive you, and I'm still asking for help. Prove your thaumaturge, and I'll hear what you have to say. Sure. What would you like me to do, sir? I've met a few of your kind, so I know what you're capable of. Find something in this tavern that belongs to me, and tell me something only I could know. First, I need to have something personal that belongs to you to learn your trace. It's a sort of pattern I'll use to recognize the other objects. Smell this. Prayer beads. Time worn prayer beads with 30 woolen knots. Trace certain Rasputin, Rasputin, something, something, Russian guy. I can't remember the song in the slightest. The zeal gushing from the beads impregnates the wool better than the tallow from the owner's strong fingers. The object pulses with a mixture of blue rapture, purple passion, and graphite fierceness. 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 The touch of the beads burns, but it also attracts, much like other beads do. Rasputin's wish. Rasputin has a magnetic zeal and passion. He is a man with an attractive personality, strong and fierce, who is easy to follow. One just has to be per careful not to get burned by the flame of his ardor. Require the knowledge or context required to give a response. Is that true? <laughs> I'll return to you in a moment. Let's assume that's true. I can hardly wait. Interesting that Rasputin is... Well, I mean, he's Russian, right? And given the context of what's going on everywhere else. Observations are information you acquire by making... Observations are information that you acquire by interacting with people and items. Observations make up conclusions, a valuable source of knowledge about the world and events that can help you in different situations. Pharmaturgist possess perception allows them to read over people's emotions, action, words, and thoughts left on items. In order to recognize them, you must develop heart, deed, word, and mind sufficiently. Okay, so let's try to develop them equally. On some items, you'll find a trace of someone's personality. It takes one of three forms. Unknown, you see it for the first time. Familiar, you've seen it before, you're not certain who it belongs to. Certain, you know who left it. Traces are only revealed once you pass the test of perception on let's the item. Take a look around. Well, it's got a novel approach to gameplay, I'll give it that much. Who would have thought there were such layers of passion within him? Prayer book. An ornate prayer book containing prayers for the Russian Orthodox Rite. It vibrates with a languishing moan of delight. Oh boy, the touch of silk, the scent of courtly powder. But that which is soft and warm is also pierced by the thorns of impending separation and longing. Who would have thought that this priest has such passion? Surprisingly, the mask of a healer conceals an outstanding lover, irresistible to women's hearts and bodies. Perhaps this is one of his healing methods. Okay. Hair cloth. A penitential device for voluntary self-mortification of the body. Well, I need mind and deed leveled up to access those two, so that's slightly annoying. Uh, aha. A dirty bowl that someone has eaten stew from. So, I've basically, I've, I'm pretty sure there's four, right? I'm pretty sure there'll be one for each skill level. No, there isn't. 
Basically, there's three that I can't do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. What have you learned, wizard? Well, you're a zealous man. It permeates every level of your personality, your faith, your abilities. Not such an impressive discovery. I haven't finished yet. <laughs> In Petersburg, you left behind a very devoted and very young lady-in-waiting. At least one, my friend. Have a seat. Rasputin will remember this. It's telltale all over again. Tell me again. Why were you looking for me? A few years ago, I attempted to catch a wild salutor, and that ended with me losing contact with my first salutor. That means I can't develop my abilities. I know that my Uber is there. Sometimes he shows himself, but I can't feel the link anymore. Generally speaking, I'm losing it more and more each day. If it disappears, my mind, I'll lose my sense of reality. I'll fall into madness. I don't know if I can help you. A proud answer. <clears throat> I mean, I want to. Do I want to feed it? Is that good? I have no idea. I've got money, if that's what matters. Give it to the needy. Your riches mean nothing to me. I meant I don't know if I'm able to help you. My gift is something I've received from God. Some I've helped, others I can't say. And I've never treated a thaumaturge. Maybe just do the same with me as with the others. We can try. Focus on my voice. You are safe. As long as you can hear my voice, you are safe. Let me gaze into your mind. Let me see through your eyes. Let me. Where? Where am I? Rasputin. There's no one in here. Hello, Wispia. So. Trying to figure things out, really. <laughs> um, I need to get out of here. Is it good to keep feeding my pride? Like, surely you can feed it too much, right? I have no idea. What is this sound? Shackles? Whatever happens will happen. Hello. Come back to me. You're blind. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. Pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? I can see, Father. Clearly. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. <laughs> Where's Rasputin? Uh. In the cemetery, 
chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. <laughs> I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. <laughs> I'll get out of the way, you can sweep in a second. God damn, girl. Okay. Did I... How do I actually know if I have a point? Oh, because I see it now. Okay. Interesting. Find the person with the floor that the wild Saluta is seeking and find Rasputin at the cemetery. Well, quests have multiple objectives. Flee, switch for the one you'd like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious, it eludes even an experienced thaumaturge. No worries, the remaining objectives provide a way. Hello. I've... They'll all gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just, Vesna will bring it, Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours, don't touch. All these newcomers causing more problems. I'm pretty sure she walked off without her apples. A bruised crimson apple. Vesna was trembling, dropped a fruit basket, and left this orphan behind. Vesna has left a distinct trace on the fruit. It consists of a heart fluttering in panic and a throat painfully clenched. A bite of this apple would taste of pure fear. Okay, so I got a point. Am I meant to know? <laughs> Am I meant to understand? Okay, so I can develop... Um, I, how are these... Tied to, can I... So, I mean, heart seems to make sense, because... This is... No, my upia is here, right? But we're gonna... Obviously, there's more we're gonna get. Um, source focus, don't know what that is. Reduces focus by one point if the enemy's in the suffering state, don't know what that means. 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Adds a point to the dimension words. So, I mean, I, I want to level them all up, don't I? Do I? <laughs> um... Gives a 50% chance of into. Okay, I kind of want that on that. Um, so I can put Gamble on. Juice's focus. Folks, I don't have a goddamn clue. <laughs> it'll, it'll, it'll become apparent as we go through the game, I'm sure. <clears throat> so I don't know if I should be putting all my points into one thing to get over here, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Oh, right, okay. Oh, wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. No, he's going to take us to the cemetery. I want to stay here. So we need to find the woman who I've forgotten the name of and her apples somewhere in this area. 
So we need to actually look with our eyeballs. That's terrifying a notion, as I'm aware that that is. Hello, goats. Hmm, the effect is getting weird. I don't know if that's important. Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. A dead goose. Someone or something strangled this goose. From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotions carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy. And the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Over my dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, this liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. Now what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? <laughs> the conflicted neighbors. A dead goose lies between the quarreling peasants. The obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she better do it quickly. It'll come to fisticuffs in a moment. Oh no. Seems like the neighbors called over a goose strangled an act of revenge, a classic of the genre. Is it? <laughs> okay, see, I can, I can use my heart though. So, I mean, this is the thing. You kind of want to level one of them up because then you can do high level stuff, but you want to level them. I don't know. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of the wise woman? Well, all in all, it's. I'm sorry, Bogdan. Basically a Jedi. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. <laughs> Jedi tricks is what I'm doing here. Let's have a little poke around. Where's the apple girl? I don't know. In we go. Salt on the doorstep protects from unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. <clears throat> Unfinished letter. So, so, my dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land, and your blood? I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid. Backward. You repeat after that rector of yours. Chudyeki. That Georgian is the language of dogs. And you want to write to me only in Russian? Child, Georgia flows in your blood. She's the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her. You can't. Diary of an Oblate Peace. They say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But I've gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends, and devils cursed by God are real, and they are everywhere. In distant Sermia, people whisper the name Bukovac, a cruel beast whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbors. A fairy tale, you say? But I have seen Bukovac here in Piatigorsk. I heard the rattle of his chains and felt his fangs digging into my neck and tugging at every fiber of my soul. And I felt the fury that this wraith brings with it. The anger from which there is no escape, the taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the Oblate Church stop this beast. Blessed Virgin, keep me safe. So, <clears throat> I wonder if that's the one we saw and heard in our mind travel bit. I don't know what to call it, because it mentions um, uh, shackles and the, the chains. Which obviously we heard a shackly sort of noise. Curious. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Well, then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, ma'am. <laughs> okay, we need to find more information. I will return, woman. Let it be known. As wise as you may be. I didn't want to randomly accuse her with no... I, don't know, I didn't get the feeling she was taking advantage of anything. Hi, dead goose. <laughs> 
Um, okay. He's sorry to Bogdan. I mean, I helped. Oh, hello, we've got a building. Am I sensing? Am I? I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please, God, we didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away, or I'll call for help! 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 Somebody help me! <laughs> what are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Nah, I'm got to beat you up, boys. I'm sorry. Oh, I can adjust my upgrades. Oh, that's handy. In order to launch a strong attack, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter breakdown. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. It's like the version. So I've got, yeah, I've got the version. You and your saluter each have your own separate set of skills. Plan which you want to use and give the saluter an appropriate command. So I'm going to use diversion. Oh, okay. Right, I get it now. I get it. <clears throat> so if I use diversion, that's going to reduce his focus to zero. So I don't need to use Liberia. We can use bloody penance. Which is good when they're on full health. Or eerie intoxication. Stores your health, which is a heal. But we don't need to heal right now, so let's just do that. So I lost this focus. Enemy lost all the focus now in the breakdown state. Great chance to launch a strong attack. God damn. <laughs> there we go, it's through the F. <laughs> okay. It seems to interrupt their attack. Feels like cheating. <laughs> I've got my guys stabbing them in the back. Devil sent you. Yeah, maybe. You could say that. Sure. <laughs> Victor's loving it. Right, let's try this again. If thinking interferes with their actions, so much the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something's not right here. Hmm. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please, 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 please. <laughs> I'm not giving I up that easy. Talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please go. Okay. Um, right. Can I find another way into the building or something? Maybe I need to go talk to Rasputin before we can carry this one on. Go and have a little look, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. Okay. Get through to her eventually, I'm sure. It seems like she's dealing with her own... Ubia, <clears throat> whatever the heck they're called. Let's go talk to Rasputin at the cemetery. Can I save whenever I want? Yeah, sweet. Made of strings, sticks, and feathers, it's supposed to protect the residents from the influence of evil powers. I mean, the fact that they have that just hanging up at the front of the village would suggest that they are plagued by something. And they're very angry. And we did just read about the malevolent force that incites anger. So maybe that's what's haunting this village, as it were. Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. 
It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. Cushman doesn't want me to take, to take me to the cemetery if I use my power. I should be able to change his attitude, but I can't. I'll be right back. Something eludes me. Using pharmacology, you can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secrets, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the manipulation is available, the character interaction will change, and the opia will appear next to the character. Okay. Cosman used a rag to wipe the sweat from his forehead. No, come back. Come back, rag. Right, I'm not allowed to move when I find the rags. A shovel. Oh, no. The shovel still showed traces of mud and ice. The coachman had to free the wagon's wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them. So, between those two... The coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard at unloading the wagon alone, and all that he dreams of is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. So now we can manipulate using my upia. I'm not going anywhere. Or are you? Part one, make the coachman's fatigue go away. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Hmm? Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. Hmm. It loads very fast, I'll give it that much. <laughs> There's no time for me to read a goddamn thing. Curious. Most curious. It's definitely an interesting game so far. It's unique, I'll give it that much. Obviously we haven't figured out how it functions in any real way, but we'll get there. Hey Rasputin, I'm going to explore before I talk to you, buddy, if you don't mind. See if we can find anything in this lovely cemetery. With one gigantic cross in the middle that it seems to be the one they're praying to, which is curious. What's so special about this guy? You're alive. Does that mean I helped, Thamaturj? I don't have enough words uh, to thank you for what you've done for me. I haven't felt this way in... Yes. I do look a lot better. I'm glad I could help. It's interesting. Like, of course, pride is the thing I suffer from when my father is like that. Did I already say that? I remember thinking it, or I can't remember if I said it or not. I see him. My Upper. Upa. He's back. I can feel our bond growing stronger as each moment passes. I'm happy for you, but do restrain your joy. We're in the cemetery. <laughs> When I heard you were at the cemetery, I was sure I'd see you resurrecting the dead. Not yet. Today I'm just praying for rest for Vasily's soul. The whole village is suffering after his loss. He was the elder here. Mm. He cursed this place. Since he died, darkness and misfortune have hung over the village. You see, to them, every harm comes down to witchcraft. They believe that after Vasily's passing, the village was possessed by some monster that howls at night or some other yuffiets. What if that... Okay, locals say that since the death of the village elder, a doom has hung over the village. Minor quarrels turn into fights, people are tense to withdrawn, things are not looking good. What if the village elder had an upia, which is now... Because he's died, it's unbound, and it's just roaming the village, causing havoc, basically. What changed in the village after the Elder died? It's all dreadful, sir. Everything's gone topsy-turvy. When folks get to arguing now, they're so hot-headed. Before you know it, they're at one another's throats. Ladies have no patience for kids, nor lads for ladies, nor neighbors for neighbors. Any word might seem offensive and like an insult waiting to happen. Then you've got to fight. A uh, dead goose. Tragedies such as Vasily's death leave their mark on everyone. It takes time to come to terms with something like this. That doesn't mean this place is possessed by dark forces. Games like this always entertain me a little bit because Rasputin is completely correct <laughs> in that, you know, in the wake of suffering, personalities change. 
the logical leap is not, oh, it must be a demonic presence. However, I'm pretty sure it is a demonic presence. How did this elder die? There was a fire, sir. Flames shooting sky high, and him burning, swearing, speaking curses. And the curse stuck. Those ruins seem a profaned place now. A wicked spirit has taken over the blighted land. Don't encourage her. Once she gets going, it can't be stopped. This could also be the work of a Salita. What do you mean? Azili's death was not peaceful. The Elder died in the flames that consumed his house. The ruins are thought to be cursed, and locals speak of them with horror. I think exhausting the dialogue seems to help. We, we got an observation there we may not have got otherwise. As you were healing me, I had a dream, a vision. But on the borderline of sleep and wakefulness, I thought I saw a salutor. That's what might be influencing the villagers in wailing at night. They're good people, but none too bright, Victor. I'm afraid they might be talking about a train. The wise woman was saying the evil spirit is a book of hatch. Does the creature hunting you rattle chains, slither around and have a mouth full of giant fangs? Apokovac. <laughs> Where did this elder live? I'll show you. Let's allow Vasily's soul to rest for today. Amen. So, Bukovac. Superstitious. A woman in the cemetery claims the village is haunted by a lich. His name is Bukovac. A peaceful and happy village? Not quite. The villagers. All riled up and on the point of breaking, laying the blame for their troubles on the actions of Bukovac. They're trying to defend themselves against this dark force with folk methods. You know, I love a folk horror. Love a folk horror. Nothing else here. Nope, let's go. How did you get here, Rasputin? Burned homestead. I guess that's where we're going. Locals recall a place with longing for lost peace and light. Marked by death, it has been cursed. Those loading times are insane. <laughs> it's it's so fast. Okay, here we are. Can you feel it? It's the smell of mystery. It smells like burned corpses. Eh, it's about tomorrow. Have a little. People don't really have homesteads anymore, do they? It's a bit of a shame. Homesteads are pretty cool. You have a home. You don't really have a homestead. A homestead has carries a certain je ne sais quoi. What do you expect to find in this place? The fire was almost a year ago. <sighs> Time doesn't matter much here. I'm looking for clues and personal traces that will lead me to whoever is carrying the floor that lured the Salutor here. I see. I thought I could be helpful to you, but... I don't really understand what you're telling me. <laughs> the interesting thing is... The floor thing. I kind of I understand what it's saying, that you have these flaws and these personalities, and that attracts Salutors to you, and that causes <clears throat> havoc for a lot of people as a thermometer so we can kind of control it and develop a bond with it right and see these flaws however doesn't everyone have tons of flaws <laughs> like why is a flaw such a rare specific thing that we're looking for this one villager with a flaw there's you know if a flaw is just like pride i mean that's a flaw that a lot of people have above all flaws are deeply hidden marks left in human souls they form under the influence of tragic events. What does that have to do with salutors? Is that Latin? Yes, from the word newcomer. People have always taken salutors to be spirits, demons, or imps. Like from those fairy tales, the wise woman and the other old crones tell the locals. Sometimes, those sorts of fairy tales and legends describe how humans perceive a salutor. They don't take a physical form. Salutors are attracted to the flaws hidden within people. Thaumaturges discover these flaws inside someone, bring them to the surface, and adopt them to lure the salutor. Those are the moments when I've usually failed. 
I haven't been able to hold on to a salutar. I didn't know how to bind one to myself. What about you? Do you have a flaw? I bear the flaw of pride. I wouldn't have guessed. <laughs> and now? Thanks to your help, I can once again discover people's flaws and the salutors hiding behind them. And I think I'm now able to catch my second salutor. Maybe it has to be a very deep, deep flaw in your personality. Like I said, brought about by tragic offense, which I'm assuming for Victor is um, his berated childhood. People always leave behind individual bits of their personality, even on everyday objects and such. I can decipher the thoughts and actions imprinted on these objects and then match them to their owner. This lets me gather immense knowledge about a person. Especially if I need to find someone. What else can you do? So many things. If I do manage to catch another Saditor, that would be a very rare occurrence, in fact. An ordinary Thamaturge wouldn't even try it more than once. Only a few have multiple Saditors. Why? Hmm. There's got to be a reason why you don't do this. There's got to be a reason why you don't just feed your pride over and over again. Let's just try the other answer for once. Some have lost their lives trying, others their senses. I was close to madness. I lost my sense of reality. I didn't know what was true. But I know I can do it. I'm almost a hundred percent sure. Isn't this exactly the sort of thinking that caused your problems that led you to me? Yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. Then what's changed? This time, I've got you with me. Why did you want to come here with me? I have never gotten to know a thaumaturge so closely. I'd like to learn as much as possible about your abilities. I need to look around this place a little more. I won't stop you. Why would you? It'd be a very weird choice. Okay, let's have a look. A destroyed door framed by some miracle that survived the fire. So you can see that I'm picking up two traces from my skills, essentially. Thick lines of the wood grain are visible on the frame. They arrange themselves into words, carved sharply as if by a chisel. They scream about an attempt to break down the door, about the hinges finally letting go. They scream into a space that doesn't respond. Fear has embedded itself deep in the fabric of the door frame. Fear of the flames and trepidation about losing a loved one. I'm going to put at least my first point in. So I, I want at least one point in all of them, I think. Can I? No. There's a point to the dimension worth. Whatever. Uh, sure. So what's that do? Book of Ack. Uh, reduces focus by additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. Sure. No, I should put it on the other one. Bear with me. I should put it on this one. Alright. A horrible death. A dried blood stain is soaked deep into the burned boards of the house. The blood sounds like suffering, it flowed quickly. The wood inflicted with the scissors wasn't large, wound, but it was accurate. Life left the body, the heart went into a spasm, and the mind recognized the end. It lasted for some time, and then the flames came, and the pain resounded anew. So he's already attacked long before the flames came. They were trying to get out of the house before it set on fire. I love the effect this has, where I can kind of push my perception dust around. I don't know what to call it, perception dust. Oh, I need to uh, do this instead. I felt something. Where is it? It's here. So much suffering. A charred old trouser belt with a heavy metal buckle. The buckle cuts through leather like a razor. No longer a boring piece of clothing, but a tormentous tool that descends on exposed flesh like a vulture. It pecks at it, leaving carmine wounds. Once, twice, thrice. It cuts deep, all the way to the soul. So 
Something around here. True fear. A rag doll. It appears old. The doll is caked with a hard crust of fear. Its layers are like the varnish on an age-old painting. A child's fear. A girl's fear. A young woman's dread. They form a cocoon smelling of turpentine that constricts the throat and forces tears from the eyes. So this belonged to Vesna, who is the lass in town who we've been trying to uh, to chat to. So maybe the Book of Atch that was attached to the Elder <clears throat> went to his daughter at the end. Hey, you, Pierre. This house was always full of fear, and its owner was still alive when the house got fire. Someone wanted to kill him. The fire only covered up the crime. Bokovac. The mother gave birth to the floor that you attached to, didn't it? I'll find you when I track down the murderer. I know who owns this doll. Maybe I should give him back to her. She ought to know more about what happened here. Same trace can be felt in the rag doll and the item dropped by the woman. Vesna smells of fear. Her nerves are badly strained. Her heart is trembling. Her fingers are stiff from anxiety and her mind wanders. Lost in the wilderness of fear, I'm able to find her home and discover what's behind her jittery condition. Victor! I hope you've got what you want now, Thaumaturge. Because I think it's time to get out of here. Why the hurry, father? We're the Tsar's men. How about the donation for the Tsar's army? There are no Russian outposts here. I think this is the guy with the nice boots. You're the guy who trashed our comrades? Do I have to beat you up again? <laughs> Say yes and you'll do it again. Yeah. I can do exactly the same to all of you. He's not as weak as he looks. He actually looks better than he did the other day. But not counting the priest. He's still alone. Not anymore, I'm not. Got my boy. You're not going to help me then, Rasputin, I assume. Okay, so we need to see who... Oh, that guy's going to attack. I'm going to do that. Oh, right, so not off this world is my guy's equivalent. So I've already done my heavy attack on him, which I think probably kills... No, probably doesn't, actually. Right, let me go back. 23 to 24 damage. It's not going to... It's not a kill. But I don't think it's worth... So I sent him off to do the focus on the next guy. Ow. I think it's shanked, <laughs> is what happens. And then I can concussion on this guy. And then we can drain this guy. Why would I not just keep doing this forever? <laughs> this feels like a much more logical way to... Why do I want to use my normal attacks? I guess because eventually you can't always just drain their focus on one thing, right? But now he's like this, so I can just... I can just knock him out. Didn't die, but not if this world is about to finish him off. Oh, give me a little bit of health in the process. Are you all right, sir? Me? Yes, but can these salutors also help you in a fight? Can you manipulate people and cast these demons into their minds? Generally speaking, yes. Are you sure you're all right, sir? Call me Grigori. Let's head back. I have to visit someone in the village who can tell me more about what happened here. Alright.
Got a point. I guess I'm going to put it in this. At least I've got one in all of them now. Because, I mean, it just gives me up, it just gives me access to things, right? I guess. <laughs> what does this one do? Relaxation. Restores your focus. So when I use... The... Oh, can I not pull... Oh, wait, no, it's like the tier. Right, I see. And that was double damage is why it hit so hard. Um... Sure. <clears throat> okay, definitely a interesting game so far. Definitely something a little bit different. I'm just going to start a new save. Um, we're going to end it there, obviously. It's over an hour, but uh, we'll be back tomorrow, question mark. I think we're going to commit to it and play it because it seems interesting. And I need... Uh, usually it takes me two to three hours to really click with a game. The only problem is I'm uploading this basically the day after I record it, so... I don't really have much wiggle room. I either like it, or I don't, but we play it regardless. But, you know, I, yeah, it's something different, and I quite like the story so far, so very curious to see what happens down the line. Also, I want more. Oh, P.S. Thanks for joining me. Cheers much of as always. Bye-bye.